It's been more than a month since three audio tapes were released to the public that apparently contain conversations between a Vinton municipal judge and the family of a Walmart victim. That judge, Roger Rodriguez, is accused of threatening and impersonating that family. The district attorney's office now claims two of those tapes were altered. The next hearing in the Walmart case is scheduled for tomorrow morning, and it is the first hearing since the defense attorneys in the case accused District Attorney Yvonne Rosales and her colleagues of hiding from subpoenas. ABC 7's Dylan McKim now joins us live in the studio, and Dylan, you tried to track down DA Rosales today. Yeah, Stephanie, not just Yvonne Rosales, but also Roger Rodriguez. No one has seen him since those tapes were made public, and we have not heard, had a one-on-one -on -one interview with DA Rosales since April of 2021. We tried to get some answers today. Just want to see if, uh, if Yvonne Rosales is in the office today, if she's able to speak. We travel to the second floor of the El Paso County Courthouse, the home of the District Attorney's Office. ABC 7 has been trying to speak with District Attorney Rosales for months now with no success. Wednesday was no different. A worker at the front desk told us to contact the press officer for the office, but when asked if Rosales was in the building, she said she did not know. Next, we searched for Rosales' private practice. A search online yielded an address for this building. It's not a law office, and the owner said they were not sure if it was a law office before they took over the space. Mr. Rodriguez. We stopped at the home of Roger Rodriguez. He's a Vinton municipal judge and has been accused of threatening and impersonating the family of a Walmart victim. We have never spoken to him before. The front gate of his house is locked and his truck has a flat tire. He never answered the door. Just a few questions for you. Attorney Justin Underwood released three tapes in early October saying they were conversations between Rodriguez and the Hoffman family. Underwood believes Rodriguez and his wife pretended to be the victim's family in an email sent to media outlets, including ABC7. The conversations were transcribed and translated. The conversations appear to show Rodriguez making a plan to remove the judge from the Walmart case. The state now claims two of those recordings were altered. A preliminary report from a forensic audio analyst says the two tapes don't appear to be the original audio clips. The state asked the judge to remove the tapes from admission. The judge denied that request. Now, the state said in their filing today that the analyst would release a full report by Thanksgiving. He lives in Pennsylvania. I asked him if he would be in El Paso tomorrow morning for this hearing. He told me he could not speak because of that gag order.